Hey, it's me again. Um, as you can tell, the lighting in here not so good. It's all gonna get so much better as of about Saturday because I'm moving into my new house. I'm really excited. I'm hoping the video for next week therefore will be on time. I presume it will. Um, unless something really, really bad happens in my house, which I hope not. But yes. Um, so this week I decided to talk about touch because I noticed a kind of theme among the other videos who've been talking about it so far, that they're not touchy-feely people. Um, and it was raised at some point whether this is an asexual trait, um, and I guess I'm here to break that trend. I I didn't used to be a very touchy-feely person at all. My family aren't. We don't really do physical affection, I guess, um, except in like really emotional times. Um, so I didn't really grow up in the kind of thing that was like, oh yay, hugs all the time. Um, and then I got to high school, and I still kind of really didn't like people touching me, I didn't know what to think about it. Um, it's hard to interpret, particularly when, you know, you don't really know what people are thinking. And it used to freak me out, quite a bit. And I still have my moments, I mean I had one about six months ago, somebody just out of nowhere did like touched me in a bad way, just sort of unexpectedly and in a context I was not expecting and I had a bit of panic and that sometimes happens. But generally, um, I met a girl, <laughs> not in, again, not at all romantically, but my best friend in high school and I don't really see her anymore, but she was one of the most touchy-feely, expressive people I've ever known. She'd hold hands with you, link arms with you, drag you down the corridors, kiss you, hug you, everything. And, you know, being her friend was awesome. And she, I don't know, it was not training, but sort of made it okay and helped me realise what, how touch could be used. And then I realised that I enjoyed it and it was nice. Um, to fast forward to about college, where I was still a little bit shy. Um, and... <laughs> I, I am, I've always been best friends with boys. I've never really understood girls, it's took me a very long time to. Um, I have girls now who are wonderful best friends, but I didn't. Um, so generally, a lot of people would confuse my way of interacting with these boys for flirting. Um, and, you know, thinking about it, I can see why. My best friend in high school, boy, had long hair. So I've, this went really curly and really, really lovely, and I would just play with it. Um, and he was fine with that, and he knew I didn't flirt, and vice versa, and everybody else thought that we were dating. So that was awkward. So I guess even in college, I was really shy, because I thought people would interpret it wrongly. And then I thought, screw it. My friends aren't, the people I'm doing it with are, you know, fine with it, so yeah. Um, and that kind of leads me to the point where I'm I'm one of the most affectionate people you'll probably ever meet in terms of touch. I like people. I like hugs, I like cuddling, I like everything about that kind of thing. Um, possibly my height plays into this. I get picked up a lot, um, like all the time, um, for cuddles and hugs and I guess, you know, it's fun. But don't I shouldn't admit that people will do it more. Um, Especially when they do it from behind, that's less fun and kind of scary, and I may scream. But, you know. Um, so yeah, I guess I've always been that way. I like cuddles, I like curling up on a couch and snuggling to whoever's next to me. And when I say whoever's next to me, it, I, I mean whoever's next to me. Particularly when I'm tired, apparently I turn into a cat. I, I find the nearest kind of warm, comfy person and curl up on them or around somewhere on them. Like, shoulder or on the knee or, you know. Um, and, you know, everyone I know is now cool with that and pretty much knows that's what I'm like, so that's great. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly don't think now that I could have any form of relationship without that. Um, I have friendships where I don't cuddle and we don't touch them much because we have a mutual understanding and they don't really enjoy it and, you know, that's cool. Um, but because I know about that, it's fine. But I find it really weird now to be emotionally intimate with somebody and not touch them in some way because I do a lot. Um, and I don't know, it's really nice to have friends that you can be watching a film with and snuggle up on. Um, or, you know, if you're down, they'll just put their arm around you and everything's 
instantly feel a little bit better. So yeah, um, that's kind of it for now. I sh probably woke my parents up, so I should probably stop talking. Um, the videos will get better in quality and content from next week. You may even get guests. But yes, so that's me done breaking the trend. I'm an asexual who absolutely lives and thrives from contact with people. And seriously, I can have known these people hours and I will be cuddling them because I enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and taught you something a little bit different maybe. Um, and I'll see you next week.